but just to remind you that one good idea with teams using their best experiences together, maximizing both human ingenuity and the potential of technology can change the world. For the 2016 meeting of CGI University held at UC Berkeley on April 1st through 3rd, former President Bill Clinton and daughter Chelsea Clinton convened more than 1,200 students from around the world, as well as top-notch global leaders to discuss and develop innovative solutions to pressing global challenges. This three-day meeting consisted of an opening plenary session, a day of collaborative discussions, and concluded with a community service project. Antonio Grayson, a senior majoring in political science, has committed to develop a restorative justice student leadership program in an effort to create a more inclusive campus climate. He is one of 150 Berkeley commitment makers who were selected to be a part of the event. I had a really positive experience. I think the idea of having all of these different students from like around the world coming together who are really passionate about these sort of issues, it does get like understandably a little like cheesy sometimes where you have all these like big uh, people coming and telling you like you're the future of the generation but a lot of times like you can you can let that sit and like do something with that because it is cool to be in those spaces where people are actually passionate about doing something. Other Berkeley commitment makers included Nerissa Nance, a graduate student researcher who developed Hombres Verdaderos, a project dedicated to implementing a domestic violence prevention program to increase women's safety and awareness in Colombia. As part of the event, she had the opportunity to attend collaborative discussions incorporating diverse panelists. Being able to see uh, panelists that are from all different walks of life experiencing you know, all different kinds of um, uh, involved in all different kinds of movements, all saying the same core tenets mm -hmm. um, and beliefs it really drove home for me that, that, these, that these are important and I should really um, continue to hold them as core beliefs. Although Narissa is appreciative of being selected, she is skeptical of CGIU's capability to implement a long-lasting relationship with each participant. One should be necessarily critical about the role that uh, events like this can play in promoting real change. I think that they're important. I think it's important to start dialogues, but I think that if there isn't an emphasis made on follow-up and on you know, continuing conversations past this uh, event, then uh, the event doesn't really serve a purpose. Previous Berkeley CGIU commitment makers include Jacqueline Wen, who is now carrying out graduate work at the School of Optometry. In 2013, her team began developing Energent, a company committed to converting the energy from cook stoves into electricity for households in developing regions. As Jacqueline continues to develop Energent, She's grateful for the inspiration and connections she gained at CGIU in past years. Oh my gosh, it's like a liquid fountain of inspiration. You just go there and you just think you can save the world. <laughs> and, then, and then you realize that you can't just do it just by going to these things. You actually have to get hands on and you have to actually do your research, connect with people and things like that. And I think the, the major thing you get out of CGIU is not only the inspiration, because a lot of people have hesitation about starting these things that seem big and monstrous, but um, it's about meeting people and about networking. Um, it's fun and you don't realize who you get to know and who they know and who can help you with whatever you're trying to do. Students such as Antonio and Arissa are, or are soon to be, making a real difference in the world. Having already engaged in CGIU the past two years, Jacqueline reminds 2016 commitment makers to never give up. Hardest things come with, with the best rewards, you know, it's, it's rewarding because you really kept yourself at it and really made it happen, but it's also rewarding because if it wasn't challenging, then, I mean, everybody could do it, you know? So, yeah, just don't give up, just keep going. <laughs>I want my peers, you know, to continue growing, continue like, and get to the point where they feel comfortable with their identity, comfortable to saying I'm undocumented and unafraid, 